Brian said, if I'm feeling good, I just spend a lot of time with my family, my friends, and my little girls, and just, you know, enjoying the time with them while I've been out from boxing. Uh, my rib was just sore, like my whole body was just sore, you know, it was just, a, you know, I guess a miracle from God. And, um, you know, he really protected me during the accident because, I mean, anybody else would probably be killed. So, you know, it was just a blessing from God that, you know, I was able to make it safe and I was able to return back to boxing this year, well, next year. Um, I don't really remember too much, but I can't really talk about the case now. I've been advised by my lawyer. Okay, it's still, it's still a pending, um, a still a pending case going on. So out of respect, you know, I choose not to talk about it. Oh, I definitely get through it. I'm fighting around May, May June, so I'll be back real soon. Um, I already started training last week, and I was feeling good. I hit the mitts and everything. I had the rain and stuff too, so I'm feeling good. So I can continue training and start in 2020. Like I said, um, I've been working with my coach and everything like that, and uh, I've been running and training still, so um, I feel good. I was back last week, and um, I wasn't sore anything. I felt like, you know, I just took a took a long time to rest, so I feel real good. And it's been, like it's been a miracle, and uh, a blessing from God that, you know, I haven't had anything serious where would have me out for a year or two or would have been, you know, ending my career. So I'm just glad to be here with my kids, my family, uh, my thing, my fans, and everybody who supported me and the media and stuff like that, you know. It's just a blessing just to be here and I'm very gracious of it. Uh, my body actually felt good. Um, I took some time off and um, now I think I'm rejuvenated and I'm ready to get back in the gym and train hard and uh, hopefully fight one of the top fighters. I don't, I don't want to turn on fight. I only really want to fight Pacquiao or if the Garcia win this fight, I want to fight Danny Garcia. I post fight him in January, but you know, I had my accident. So, um, you know, that's the guy that I'm looking to fight. Like I said, I'm the top dog in the division. I am the king of the West West division. And like I said, I know them guys wish that I wasn't back so fast, but I am back, and I want to fight the top names in the division. Whether it's Manny Pacquiao, whether it's Terrence Crawford, or whether it's Danny Garcia, I do want the top names. I do want to be the undisputed West West champion of the world. Welcome to another edition of IMO Sports with Pedro Justice. Well, Errol Spence makes an appearance. He talks to the fans. He lets you know that he's going to come back in May or June or sometime this summer, July. I just want him to get back better. By looking at his face, you can tell that his face was swollen. By hearing his speech, you can tell that his jaw was swollen. You can tell he got his teeth fixed. And right now, he's just trying to get back to where he was before. He said his whole body was sore and aching and hurt. He needs to take the right amount of time to make sure that he is healed. What do you think about seeing Errol Spence tonight about how he was speaking and, and how his face looked? He has a lot of healing to do internally and emotionally and mentally. I think that he needs to take as much time as he needs to get back. And he does need a tune up fight because he may never be the same again, or he may still be the same Errol Spence. What do you think is going to happen in Errol Spence's next fight? Until next time, it's Pedro Justice.